I'm going to put Lou on down and underlayman. If you look at these step right here, you can see it's got a big old crack in that shit. And there's going to be some carpet down on top of there. So they don't want to seam in the middle of the carpet and shit like it was in the old carpet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some Lou on. It's an underlayment. comes in different thicknesses. This is just a cheap shed. It's one that needs a carpet. You don't need the fucking nice hardwood stuff or anything. So basically, that's a 45 degree angle. And that's 16 and a half inches on that side. 16 and a half inches on that side and it puckers out to 17 and a half in the middle and that don't fucking really matter because there's going to be carpet on the riser so i'm going to go ahead on and just take a chalk line and split it down the middle on the uh blue on and cut your shit and then put a 45 degree angle on it and get your first piece cut like that and then i'll come over here i do it for this step too and here's a piece of Lou on comes in a four by eight sheet. As you can see, I've marked 16 and a half inches on that side, 16 and a half inches on this side. And I took a chalk line and struck a line. I also took the square and put my 45 degree cut on it. And I'll make sure that I use my factory edge facing outward. And I'll go ahead and on there and cut this shit with a skill saw and then we're going to take it over there and fit it in. I'm going to glue it down and staple it down. I'll show you how we do that. Some staples 
And we're going to use some of these kind of staples right here. Narrow crown staples. Take a rick. What's that? Put them in my staple gun. Maybe you got this an air hood. Sorry, got that piece right there down. The next thing I do is go ahead and put this other piece down. So I'll put it a little bit, make sure I get it right in the seam right here where I join it up. Then the back. And the sides with some glue. Now you can use the shit that you try on, or you can use the shit in a fucking caulking tube, like some sub floor shit, liquid nail, adhesive. Shit like that. It's up to you. I'm gonna put it fucking pretty good right here on the front. Then I'm just gonna fucking go back and forth. You don't have to fucking glue every little piece of it. It's gonna hold down, trust me. Make sure you get you one of these fucking drip free caulking guys that keep squirting shit out all over the fucking place. And I'm gonna go ahead on and just take your piece, line it up. And then you just take your fucking staple gun. The staples I showed you. That's how you put down your fucking loo on and shit, your underlayment. So I'm gonna go back now with a hammer and just look, look around. Any little staples that didn't go all the way down there, just tap them all down. And that's how you put your underlayment down. Because it's sitting on the edge of a bull nose, I'm gonna take a fucking sander, a palm sander, and just knock that edge out. It's going underneath some carpet that's got a curve around that roundness. Now, over here, I got shorted a little bit. But rather than go get a whole other fucking sheet, I'm gonna bring that shit out to the edge and glue it and cut some strips and glue that piece and go right across the fucking back of it. Because it's underneath of that fucking carpet. When it's underneath the carpet, it's not gonna fucking matter. That's gonna be a bull that's coming over this edge anyway. Nobody's gonna step back there. So I'm gonna cut that shit off and cut a strip and go down the back of that motherfucker. But that's how you put your loo on down, your underlayment. And you'd be putting that down like on the vinyl flooring, uh, carpet, wherever you fucking need it at. Get your local hardware store, don't cost that much, get the cheap shit. And uh, you got any questions about how to do that, subscribe and fucking uh, leave a message in that fucking comment section. If you got any questions, I'll answer it. Y'all have a good day now.